Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here, and uh, you made it, I've made it, we've made it, where have we made it, where have we made it this time? <laughs> We're a vlog vlog, not a food review, but we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about the subject of the vlog a little bit, and we're going to walk a little bit through my childhood, um, as we do, and I'll kind of go back and forth between those stories, but here, right back here, I know you can't see it, but right back there, that was my first like legit playground, that's where I, I played on the playground first through sixth grade, um, and now I play at Walt Disney World on a regular basis, and that's my playground. But this behind me, bam, is the school that I attended first through sixth grade as well. Um, if I'm correct, it's either it's either this one or this one. I think it's this one right here. Was my classroom for all of fourth grade in my. In my formidable years, I guess you could say, where my mind was being shaped and all that good stuff. So this is where I went to school. This is this is Townsend Elementary School in Dell City, Oklahoma. Um, just where I grew up. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the subject of the video. I'm going to do this all on a one take. Try not to edit anything off of this, but I am going to throw some cutaways in here. Of obviously, the school and where I'm at, but. Uh, Let's talk about perfectionism because this video was supposed to look a lot, a lot different, a lot different. Um, and then I said, you know what? I'm not gonna get to do it if I don't do this. So let's just go do it. Let's just go do a one take. Let's go talk about perfectionism. Let's go show where, I, where I, my, my uh, like I said, my formidable years, my K, actually I think it was first through six. My first through six years were. But uh, to the point, to the point, Michael, what are you talking about? Why are we talking about perfectionism? Well, I had some grand, grand idea when it came to filming, like, this is where I came from video. And I'm still gonna do this video. I'm still going to do this video. It's just gonna have to happen at another time. And I'll tell you why I'm saying, like, perfectionism sometimes means getting nothing done. And sometimes, as a perfectionist, you might have to, like, I don't know, change your, change your mindset just a little bit, tweak it because I wouldn't even be filming this video if I didn't say, okay, I just wanna get something done. I wanna show something of me because I know I made a promise to you guys that we were gonna do some of this while I was in Oklahoma and it's been three weeks now, <laughs> like three weeks and the weather hasn't cooperated. Uh, I don't really have a car either. So like I have to borrow a car to go do anything I'm gonna do. So that didn't really cooperate in general. Look! It's the front door. Many a, many a morning going in that front door and uh, many an afternoon waiting on this perch here for my parents to pick me up back here when I was just a wee tot. When I was just a wee tot as well. Plenty of gym classes back here. Gym classes. I also wrestled. I also played basketball. So all of that stuff. This auditorium. That's also where I got my, uh, <laughs> what was it, like third grade? third grade I had a teacher just give random awards for like just silly stuff really silly stuff but being the foodie that I am today it's kind of apt that I won this award I won lunchroom lover so I'll let you know what that <laughs> I'll let you figure out what that is because obviously uh, obviously that means I love the lunchroom and I still love 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 me some food so kind of makes sense doesn't it It just kind of completely makes sense that uh, a very young me would win an award that had to do with food and uh, that's what I did lunchroom lover crazy 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 um, so yeah as we continue to walk around here maybe we'll show that that, that that playground a little bit but wow this is just kind of stroll down memory lane for me I really haven't been back here and walked on this property probably 20 years or better. I might have like came here after college or something, but it's been a long, 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 long time since I've, I've been here, since I've, since I've taken the stroll. But back to the point, perfectionism. Perfectionism. Sometimes I'll just hold you back, unfortunately. I watched a video several months back from video creators and Tim Schmoyer, and he kind of talked about it. He's like, don't let perfectionism hold you back because only you know what your 100% is, and only you know the envision, envisioned, <laughs> the vision that you have for a video. So, being that, like, 
being that, like, don't let it hold you back. Just do your best. And most people won't be able to tell what your 90% is. Heck, most people won't even be able to tell what your 80% is. But still, on a regular, regular basis, I try to make sure to put out like quality stuff across the board and always try to put out my best regardless. Regardless. I think we have another employee. Where are we at here? Like back right there was my fifth grade classroom. So I don't think we'll be able to see all my classrooms from the outside. Some of them were on the inside of the building. But yeah, so I, I'm probably not the only person who has this like this issue or I don't know if it's an issue. It's nice to it's nice to want things perfect and want things great and want things to look good and things like that. But Sometimes it can definitely hold you back, which like I said, I have a completely different vision for this video. I had a completely different vision. I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you my elementary school. I wanted to go to my junior high. I wanted to go to my high school. I want to go to my college, university. Um, I wanted to show you all that. I kind of wanted to show you like my guilty eats when I come to Oklahoma. Um, but at least I'm doing something. Wow, this looks a little bit different. What is in front of me was not here when I was here, but the rest of it kind of was. So this was my first playground. Like, first playground. This thing here, though, was not here. It's probably kind of smart. It rains a lot around here, so kind of does that. But yeah, so this is the first playground back off over here where I played some b-ball, where I played some kickball, where I played some soccer. Most of the time I wasn't playing on like playground equipment and most of this playground equipment behind me wasn't here. It's, most of this stuff is fairly new or new since whenever. Um, we're gonna walk up on my first grade classroom and I think that's the last one that I can kind of show you from, from the outside looking in. But wow, memory lane, memory lane. I know, Mike, get back to the subject. You're a perfectionist, maybe I'm a perfectionist, or I'm a perfectionist, maybe you're a perfectionist. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to let that stop. Actually, you know what? I think my second and, my first and second grade classes were side by side. Right here, right there. Mrs. Witt, Mrs. Hooper, I think I had Mr. Barrett fourth grade. We showed that class and Miss Maynard, Mrs. Maynard in the fifth grade. Yes, I know all my all my elementary school teachers. I know we skipped third grade, which was Hodgkinson, and that's where I got the lunchroom lover award. And sixth grade, Mrs. Fry. So it's pretty good after all these years to remember all of those teachers first through six. So if you're a teacher, <laughs> don't ever don't ever think you don't have some kind of influence on people's lives because obviously you do don't think what you're doing doesn't matter because it does um, so and many of football games in fifth fourth fifth sixth grade on these fields back here as I grew up in athletics fourth fifth sixth grade football wrestled in that auditorium over there played basketball in that auditorium I will tell you that I wasn't much of a basketball player but I was a heck of a little football player at the time uh, I will say that. So, so, I keep getting sidetracked here. Perfectionism. I guess my point here is do your best, people. Just do your best. Um, I will eventually um, make a video if I, <laughs> if I can just find the time to kind of introduce my whole hometown of Dell City, Oklahoma. Townsend behind me. I went to middle school here, I went to high school here. I actually rooted for my rival high school until I went to high school. So that's a little interesting tidbit. But we'll talk about all that in another video definitely. Because, because this is, this is, this is the non-perfection version. This is the live take, this is not really a quick take. Like I said, semi-unedited as we walk around here and we look at everything. Like take a walk down memory lane with Michael Mass here, but uh, I guess, like I said, I can get sidetracked. Do your best, people. Do your best. Do your best, and don't don't worry what other people think when it comes to that. Um, otherwise, a lot of things would never get done. I'm sure there's things out there that people look at now and go, "Man, that was great," and the other person goes, "That was like 80 percent 
that was like 80% of my capabilities. Like, I should have been able to do so much better, but uh, I only invented the light bulb, and that was 80% of my brain capabilities. Or, I only, I only did whatever. I don't know. I only, I only created Walt Disneyland. Disneyland. I only created it, but I could have done so much better. That was like my 60%. Look, okay, you have to admit that. Like, Walt, that was probably Walt's 60%. It's what he could do with what he had at the time. It might have been a 70%. <laughs> um, granted, I love Disneyland so much more than Disney World. I definitely have a higher affection for Disneyland than Disney World. But, when you look at the scale of things, maybe that was Walt's 70%. Maybe that was Walt's 80%. <sighs> maybe he thought it was his 100% at the time, but then he realized how much more he could have done. How much more he could have done, look. We're back to the front of Townsend Elementary School. If you have hung out with me this long, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm glad we could take this walk down memory lane and talk a little bit about perfectionism. Do your best, really, just do your best. That's what it comes down to. So many times people let perfectionism get in the way of them doing anything. Because sometimes it's, it makes you immobile. Like, like, I almost just didn't do this video at all. Like, I was like, I can't get out. The weather, the weather's, the video's not gonna be as pretty as I want it to be. Or, I don't know. I don't have a vehicle to drive around all the time. I can't get where I'm going, so I'm, I'm not just not gonna do this video at all. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is probably the longest I've actually did a, like a one take in a long time or forever. Like 12, going on 12 minutes here. So, hopefully I've made sense here. Please tell me, tell me down in the comments if you're a perfectionist, what you try to perfect, or if, you're, if you've learned throughout life that sometimes you just gotta do your best, forget the rest. I kinda stole that line from a workout uh, series that I used to do, but definitely do your best, forget the rest. It's kinda chilly out here today. I think we're looking at the high 40s? Low 50s? Yes, I'm just sporting the jacket. And soon enough, if not sooner, I'll be back in Orlando where hopefully it's warm. <laughs> hopefully it's warm. But uh, guys, if, that, if I can leave you with anything today, is that, like I said, do your best. Because you never know when that's going to help, when that's going to affect somebody. Um, don't beat yourself up. Even though, like I said, I'm probably my hardest critic, my worst critic. I will beat myself up before anybody else ever gets a chance to. Um, when it comes to like putting together stuff or doing stuff because I want it. I want it the way I want to see it. I, I have visions. There's plenty of times where before I watched that video from uh, Tim Smoyer and video creators months ago that I would just not put out videos. And actually a video that I put out a couple, uh, what, a week ago or something like that? Like I kind of had to lay on it for a little bit because I just wasn't happy with the way it was turning out. Hopefully, I mean, I think it turned out pretty good. So go check out that or Best in Orlando Pizza video. That video was a lot of work. And like I said, I actually like sat on it for one, one extra week because I just didn't feel like I could get it done the way I wanted to. Whew, that's a lot, that's a lot. And I'll say this, like, and, I'll, and I, I released this video and looked at it and went, man, like you could have done so much better. But that Maria and Enzo's video that I, that I created, like there was this stuff after I watched it, I was like, you could have done this and this. So I guess I'm learning. I'm learning to work through perfectionism sometimes. Not everything has to be perfect. So guys, Townsend Elementary School, Dell City, Oklahoma. Walk down memory lane, a little, little life lesson as well to knowing that sometimes perfectionism can lead to not getting anything done. Perfectionism can be cripple as, crippling. Perfectionism can lead to zero or everything. And so sometimes we need to learn how to ramp it down a little bit. Maybe know that our 90% is probably better than what most people are expecting from us. And uh, we can do that as well. Guys, I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did, please tell me so down in the comments. Let's have a little conversation. If you're a perfectionist, let me know. Let's talk about that. Let's have, let's have some meaningful conversation there. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. From Dell City, Oklahoma, Townsend Elementary School, my, my old stomping grounds. I'm Michael Mass. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If this is your first time here, welcome to the family. Welcome to being one of the friends that hang out and watch some food reviews, some Disney, some life, some positivity, all that good stuff. Guys, until next time, I'm gonna get out of here. 
Thank you for your time. Here's to life.